What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name's Damon Warren, and on this channel, I share my tech information and I go on adventures. Today, I'm going to be talking about my portable monitor, the UPerfect 15.6 inch monitor. So I got this for a couple different reasons. One was basically for photo editing, and I was kind of wondering what I could hook it up to. So this is kind of a review, and what can you hook up to a portable monitor? Let's start off with a couple of specs. It's 15.6. It is a 1080 QLED screen. It is QLED, so it is very clear, a very nice picture. It's got two speakers on it. It is touch screen. It has two USB-C's and there is a mini HDMI. There's a headphone jack on it. So it comes in this uh, kind of sleeve right here, which actually does double as a stand. But overall, my review of it, I like it. It's very versatile. It's light, it's thin. It's a nice addition. And with this case, it's not like it's carrying around extra bulk. It's versatile because I can use a USB-C. So I can just grab one of my USB-Cs, plug it in there, and plug it into the different things. So on the next part of this video, I will be going over what can you plug into a portable monitor. All right, so we got this all set up on the desk. Got it plugged in. Got your power light over there. So it's an energy saving mode right now. So the first thing I wanted to hook this up to, my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I'm using the USB-C to USB-C, and you see as soon as I plug it in, give it a couple seconds, and there we go. So that was one of the first things I wanted to be able to do is take my phone, hook it into the monitor. So now I have this big monitor. It's touch screen, so as you see, there's a a pointer there so I can use my phone as a touchpad and load up Lightroom. This was kind of the number one thing I wanted to be able to do. So now I am running Lightroom on my phone hooked into an external monitor. And as you see with Dex, it gives you all my different readouts right here. And having the ability to so let's, uh, let's look up Rhode Island here. So now I can go into my pictures. Look how clear that, that is. That's nice, big, open. I, I'm completely portable. It's using the USB-C for power and it's using USB-C to hook into my phone. So this is my actual editing setup right here. Phone, portable monitor, and you would not believe how clear this is. Touch screen or I can use my phone as a touch screen. So now I can literally edit pictures and videos on my phone on the go. How cool is that? Has the two speakers, so if I wanna play something, I can play it through the phone. My phone is still running independent of the screen. And if I press this button on the side here, it goes into my settings. I've got my brightness, I got my contrast. I can turn the HDR on or off. These arrows allow me to go into the different settings. Here are my temperature settings. There's a user setting, 9300, 6500. So that's perfect for what I wanna use it for. So I've got all these different settings. And there's my readout right down there. I am doing 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz. All right, so that's what it does. That's what I got it for. It's awesome. So then the question I was getting from a lot of people was, what else does it hook into? Good question. I'm gonna now hook up my Surface and show you what that looks like. So now we got the Surface. In order for me to use, this is a uh, Microsoft Surface Pro. So they actually supply an HDMI. So this unit actually uses a mini HDMI cord there. So that's the mini HDMI right there. So it hooks right in the bottom part right here. This cord came with it. Hooks in, give it a couple seconds. And now I have an additional screen. 
So if I want to duplicate this screen, but I want to use this screen for something, like I'm in Fresh Paint, the surface has a pin. So I can do that. Doesn't work over here. Right? I'm not getting the touch. What you can do is you get this USB A, right? Your standard USB to C. Okay, so then you hook the C into portable monitor, plug this into the USB C of your surface or whatever other monitor you're going to be hooking this up to. So now I have the HDMI and the USB hooked into this other monitor. So grab my Surface Pen, touch screen works. Ah, look at that. Now I can use this touch screen to control both. It needs the other additional hookup in order to do the touch screen. And then I was like, wait a second. Pin, watch this. Pin, see, look at that. See, the pin will work on this screen. Pretty cool, right? So I was like, oh, all right. So that works. So what else could I hook up to? So the next thing I was thinking about, I got my uh, Apple TV. Or this could be a Roku or any other Fire Stick, anything like that. HDMI into the monitor, and there we go. Right into it. And it actually has the two uh, speakers. The monitor actually doesn't have any software, but if you can basically plug it into a, a monitor or TV, you're good to go. How about an Xbox or a PlayStation? Let's check that out. All right, so Xbox, right? Remember, it's just using the HDMI. So on the back of the Xbox, this could be a PlayStation, whatever you got, right on the back, it's gonna say HDMI out to TV. Plug it right in. The Xbox automatically recognizes this monitor and what the capabilities are. So now I have, I can take my Xbox wherever I want. Let's say I'm going over a friend's house or hotel room or something. Got my Xbox, I got my portable monitor. I'm ready to go. So then I was wondering if I could hook it up to my iPad mini. So when I tried using it with this adapter, the USB adapter that I use, it doesn't recognize it. So I had to purchase this one, which has the HDMI on it. It goes into the iPad, HDMI. And how about that? And the screen looks so much better. I've got a lot more room to, to work on. So that's with the iPad. So it's like, oh, okay. Well, if it works with an iPad, this is the iPhone SE. I hope that right in. And there it goes. The screen is mirrored. It will not hook into, let's say, a pocket just using the USB-C because the monitor doesn't have any software. If you can hook a regular monitor into whatever it is that you want, then you can hook this monitor in. It's just a regular monitor, except for it's portable, it's thin, and I'm quite happy with it. And so welcome addition to my tool bag. Remember, take care of each other, peace out, and I'll see you all soon.